Where in the scriptures where in the scriptures to say to go up to the uh, what they call that a confession booth? Where where's the confession booth at in the scripture? I ain't never seen that scripture. Never. Son of man, oh. prophesy against the shepherds of Israel. Israel. Prophesy and say unto them, Thus said the Lord power, unto the shepherds. Woe be to the shepherds. Destruction be to the shepherds. Destruction Woe. be to the shepherds. Woe be the shepherds of Israel that do feed themselves. No, they, they feed themselves. They teach for, uh, what's that uh, word from filthy lucre say? They just doing it. They can get paid, bro. That's the oldest hustle in the game. How could you even live with yourself, man, doing shit like that? Right. You know, the conscience still gets to them. If they are Israelite, man, the conscience, it fucks with them some, at one, some one point or another. That's some fucked up you shit know? to do, man. Right, and especially getting run into the men of the Lord, your conscience is going to stay on. That conscience is going to continue to eat your way as well. You know, they going, they dealing with, you got, I mean, some pastors are dealing with funerals. Oh, they going to a funeral, they consoling family members. Yeah, yeah. You know, they in there pretending like they can't. And they make a money off your ass with, you know, doing funerals, marriages. TNGs to marry somebody. That's fucking crazy, man. <laughs> you just playing with the most high. Hey, you go down on uh, Sunbury Road between um between um, Ennis and Moore's Road. Yeah. It's a whole bunch of pastors that stay in that in that vicinity. Oh yeah. And I'm talking about some big fucking houses, man. I'm talking about I did some big ass houses on Some bad ass houses, man. Some bad ass fucking houses, man. All pastors. Well the majority of them are pastors. What did the Lord say? It uh the one that y'all call Jesus, Yahweh Shai. What did he say? He said the son of man had nowhere to lay his head. What did he say? The foxes have their holes and the uh the birds have their nests? The Lord himself. He, he's the ultimate pastor. He's a good shepherd. And he was pretty much homeless. He, he, says, he didn't give a fuck. I'm not fuck that. Woe be to the shepherds of Israel that do feed themselves. Should not the shepherds feed the flocks? Ye eat the fat and ye clothe you with the wool. Ye kill them that are fed. But ye feed not the flock. If they don't feed the flock. And the main way they don't feed them is when they don't give them no knowledge. But you know, that's the real food is that knowledge and that teaching them the truth. They're not teaching the truth that, that they're Israelites. They're not teaching the truth to the name of the Most High. They ain't teaching nothing right. They're getting everything all wrong. They don't, they teaching about that Trinity. They ain't teaching everything wrong. Yeah, that's pretty. They're teaching them paganism. They, they, they're doctrinizing y'all into paganism. Having y'all celebrate Christmas and Easter. That's all paganism. Peg paganist rituals. You know what I mean? That is not in the scripture. I got a scripture for that too. Let me finish this. The disease have ye not strengthened, neither have ye healed that which was sick, neither have ye bound up that which was broken. Meaning the, the, these dead motherfuckers walking around spiritually, you ain't, you ain't put no true life in them to them, man. None. Literally none, man. All these fucking churches around the people continue to walk around the You know, too, a lot of times the secret of the, the pastors and preachers, where well, they Freemasons and shit, too. And in secret, they don't even worship the Lord at all. They worship goddamn Nimrod and Tammu. They worship the sun. They worship the devil. Oh, yeah, all that shit, that's their favorite. That's the main one. The queen of heaven, yeah. The oh, they worship the goddess. I mean, that's what the, you know, they, the Christmas tree represents uh, uh, Nimrod and Semiramis, the goddess, the Baal, the devil. Child of innocence. Oh, yeah, ain't, ain't, that, uh, ain't that what the Egyptian story is about, too, right? Yeah, yeah. Osiris and uh, then Isis, like, get herself pregnant. Oh, Isis and Osiris were brother and sister, right? And that. And they was married. What kind, of, what kind of bucked out shit is that? But you got these Kemet people talking about Egypt is the truth and all the science and mysteries come from Egypt. 
But your top two guys were brother and sister. That's some fucking weirdo shit. And your boy Caligula want to go down to Egypt? Yeah, he, <laughs> he wanted to marry his sister. I wonder who Caligula was in the reincarnation. Oh, man. He's back now. He's back now. I wonder who he is, though. Trump? Oh, <laughs> uh, you think Trump you know, freaky enough? Hell no. Come on, man. They looking for it right now. This is showing you how... Oh, no. Hey, hey, Trump is pissing everybody off, too, like Caligula. Right. This is how fucking stupid these people are, man. And why they want to look for it is, is the question itself. But they, are, they got a whole show committed to... Looking for the Trump sex tapes, man. Trump sex tapes. They want to see that Arnold, shit. What's his name? Arnold, um, um, woman that was married to Roseanne. He's the, he's the head of the show. Arnold, I forget um, his fucking damn, name. Damn, I can't, I just know Arnold. <laughs> yeah. The comedian dude. Uh, I know you talking about. Uh, oh, I, can't, I can't remember it either. Faggot. Looking for the Trump tapes, man. Why do you want to see the Trump tapes? Why do you want to see they the sex tapes? They want to see his man? dick. Right, man. That's some filthy shit, man. He probably already seen it. Well, anyway. Caligula was filthy, and that's all you hear about was Trump broken women, always talking His foul. daughter, you see the picture with him and his daughter? Ooh. Oh, he, like, yeah, rubbing yeah, all over yeah, his own yeah, daughter. Yeah, yeah. Of course he hit it, man. Fucking his own daughter. Yeah, hey, he right, hit though. it, man. Hell yeah, he hit it. Caligula was famous for pissing off all the senators and politicians. <laughs> and what is Trump doing? Hey. Same shit. Caligula. He's causing that great debacle. Trump was on the floor. He really is, man. Trump was on the your boy is whacked. Shame. It says, Neither have ye brought again that which was driven away, neither have ye sought that which was lost, but with force and with cruelty have ye ruled them. And they were scattered because there is no shepherd, and they became meat to all the beasts of the field when they were scattered. Hey, right. That's why you see Israel is not united. You see all of our people are scattered. That's why you got how many denominations of Christianity? Ooh. Man, that's so many that that's cause can't nobody teach a, a, a straight doctrine. Everybody, everybody teaching something different, something bugged out and whacked out. Yeah, the house of Israel is different than that. It's all divided. Everybody teaching bullshit. Look at the motherfucking groups that's calling themselves Hebrew Israelites. There's, yep. there's much different division in that too. There's a lot. You're you right. Know, one group lot. philosophy is different from the next group. You know? And it's, it's only it's, great millstone that has the truth, man. And it's easy to uh to disprove their madness too. That's crazy. Uh, your one boy said he's the comforter. Who can follow somebody like that? IUIC, you don't even call in the name of the Most High. They call him Christ. I'm surprised. That, do they even? Do they teach? They probably believe in the Trinity. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Because they, all they say is Christ. Do they? Do they ever say that there's a difference between the Son and the Father? This is for real. That's crazy. So I seen him holding communion. <laughs> Did you see that communion? <laughs> they was doing the uh, the communion just like the Catholic with the Eucharist and all that. Who's that? Are you actually? Yeah, I seen the video. They uh, they did it just like the Catholic Church does. Wow. When we all know that that communion is it's supposed to be the Passover. That's crazy. It's the Passover meal. It's not going and eating little wafers every day. Little kid socks. People are weirdos out there. And things about being having man buns too. You see, I see dudes with man buns everywhere. You see that shit? Man buns, what's that? When they take their hair and bun it up like a woman. Oh, yeah. oh look, he's gay as fuck. That's what your boy has. That's common now, too. Yeah. 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 Fucking man, man buns or the cocoa puffs. Cocoa puffs. Yeah. I see oh, that shit. The cocoa puffs. That's just, that's, 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 what's that word? Gay as fuck. That's just, that's just gay as fuck. That's intolerable. That's abominable. Yeah. When that scattered sheep, that's how you scatter the sheep, man. Tell him it's beautiful. That's what the pastor did. Well, a man's name that's, is supposed to have beautiful. long hair. That's exactly what I was looking for. See, these churches don't teach no, no truth, man. They'll accept any any madness. And they'll say, you can't judge nobody. That's why they all whacked out. Because exactly. you can't judge nobody. If you start judging your congregation, you're going to lose all your money. Because pe people don't want to hear about no judgment. They don't want to be corrected. They want to hear them smooth words. Like Isaiah, what, 30? I'm going to get that. So the Most High going to eventually kill them motherfuckers for not teaching them, kill, telling them the truth when it's time to go, man. You're going to kill them. And he actually going to have the congregation kill the motherfucking pastor. You lied to us all these years. You stole from us all these years. Most that, High going to turn them loose on them. Yeah, the Lord can put that spirit on them. He's going to. 1 Corinthians 11 and 14. Doth not even nature itself teach you that if a man have long hair, 
Did this shade on to him? This motherfucker in the shade in the mirror. Damn, they put no makeup, man. And, it, and they even showed the Lord is having long hair. But they, the, the, the white Jesus they got. Well, they, they got off in their churches. They try to portray the Lord with having long hair. Right, right. And that's madness right there. Now you got a lot of churches teaching that the Lord is a homosexual. They, the nigga churches, they got the chicks of course you're gonna tame. But he's black. Oh yeah, he look like a... Yeah, yeah. but he still got that long, he still got, hair, hair. He got a perm. Right, right. You see it? Yeah. Like he used hairspray and shit. Yeah. He got some soul glow. <laughs> Goddamn shit. Jesuit boys you with a fucking team. You walk inside, I know niggas house walking That's a house. famous picture. That's the first picture you got. It is. Yeah, yeah. That's that one. Yeah. Oh, they look like a Photoshop to the soul. That's crazy as fuck. Hey, let me get this right quick. Uh shit. Nah man, let me let me let me, let me speak my heart first. We got time for scripture slavery. Let me speak my heart for I, I want to hear what's in your heart, let me, brother. Let me, let me tell you my experience with the, when I went to the mall shopping, I, the, you know these motherfuckers on some other shit, man. They be like the Lord smoke spoke to me this morning. <laughs> the church. Oh, bro, go back to your boy Marjo. Remember that movie Marjo? Oh, man. The church. It ain't nothing but entertainment, man. That's it. Entertainment. That's it. That's it. I know a white bitch man that she was going to white churches her whole life. So she ran to a nigga, she went to a nigga church, man. Now she just, she she loves it because she, that's what she said, the entertainment. I'm entertained. <laughs> Woo, I have family great. like that too. They said they go to Jake churches because the band was better. They had better music. Yeah, yeah. Hey, they do got better music. You ever go to one of them? <laughs> You go to one of them all white people churches, bro. They run. Just a totally different vibration. Totally different. Yeah, vibration. I've been to both before, man. Yeah. You know, last time I've been to a black one, though, I thought the preacher he sounded just like Richard. Man, I spent the whole fucking time laughing up in Cleveland, man. I spent the whole fucking time laughing, man. <laughs> I'm gonna never forget that shit. I went to a Southern Baptist never church. That shit. And every time they sing them hymns, there's always like this old lady that she sounded like a goat when she was singing. Oh my. It just sounded horrible. It sounded like something out of a 1930s musical. <laughs> it was trash. It was it was trash. Oh, just funny. Just so, funny. Y'all remember the video some years ago on the brothers? Actually, two brothers that got the they went to church, and uh, the pastor allowed them to come up to the pulpit and speak and everything. Man. Oh yeah, I think I do remember. They that. got trained. They got. They, 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 they let them speak for a minute. Yeah. Then they started questioning them. <laughs> they started eating them up, man. You know how Jake is. And you know, brothers, the truth, judgment got to come down the pipe. But then, you know? then people will come and get gnash your teeth against you. They come up out of here. Yeah, you get thrown the fuck. They call the cops. They call the brothers. <laughs> you see, when we tried to do it, they kicked us out as soon as we went in that motherfucker. That motherfucker went to the trunk of the car. <laughs> I told you. We, we went up in that church with a 12 tribe. We with all the signs, 12 tribe signs and everything. That's funny, though. Because when we got there, I, I, I noticed they were looking. Look they like, oh, man, shit, what the fuck? Hey, I got that video up. Uh, he's talking about his plot was stealing the, the fucking uh, uh, Israel's lion uh, rug they had. Oh, that was, yeah, that, that shit was dope, though. That shit was dope. That shit was bad, man. The lion of Judah. It was bad. And they was up in there teaching that, uh... And Ray, we talked to him on the phone. He said that, uh... He said that the Edomites were uh, Arabs. And then the... They're the real Jews is the, uh, the rats over there in Israel. That's crazy. Hey, go look up our video. It's on BitChute. It's uh, Church Hunters. Hey, I found a video. Dave gave it to me. Oh, wow. Dave had it saved. Oh, wow. he, he hit me up with it. This is works. This is works. Save the video. Yeah, this is what you got back to Isaiah 56 and 9. It says, Are you beasts of the field? Come to the bower. Yea, all ye beasts of the forest. His watchmen are blind, they are ignorant, they're all dumb dogs, they cannot bark. Yeah, so the Lord called it, uh, 
call these pastors dumb dogs. You know, a dog's a filthy animal. It's like having a watchdog and they gonna bark. You know what I mean? Okay, what's that, some penis or something? Uh, oh, I hate guns. Like, Willie, what's that boy, Willie? Charlie in the Chocolate Factory? He oh, said, yeah. gum is gross, it's the candy I hate the most. But what was that? Uh, he said these pastors are dumb dogs. You supposed to be out here watching. Can you read that again? It's well, watching. Warning the people. Yeah, let me get that. Got to warn the people, man. What greater love do you have for people? You warn, you warn them to them about a great destruction that's coming, man. Especially by that microchip, too. Right. That mark of the beast. Right. Man, that's going to be here soon. The end, last day fucking prophecies, man. You know? Isaiah 56 and 10, his watchmen are blind. They're all ignorant. They're all ignorant. They don't know nothing. They don't know no history. How many how many pastors do you think, for real, let's be real about it, actually study history, know about the ancient world, know about, can even name you the first three Caesars or the uh, the Romans? That's rare, man. That's very rare. But it's more common with actually a, a Edomite church than a Jake church, though. Yeah. You know, I mean, I, I, from what I see. You know, these black churches don't literally know nothing. They don't know nothing. They literally don't know nothing. They know the name of Jesus. You know? But that's a different in cultures too, though. You know, <laughs> Esau, he, he educate, they educate each other. In they do. Somewhat. Yeah. A lot of them, they do know history. You know, right, because you know? they don't know no nothing about no fucking prophecies in the last nah. days. They try to get all right. technical with it. Yeah, so it's actual cultural thing. Yeah, though. yeah. But Jake, Jake is stupid. You're right about that. Take dumb as fuck, man. They, they were retards. They stuck on fucking retard all the way. For real. All the way up. They turn all the way up. Remember, what's the retard scripture? Uh, I forgot what? already. What's what? <laughs> oh, no, I know that. The retard scripture. Yeah, I got it. Look at it. Because I never could remember, man. Ain't that Luke 24? Is it? I never could remember, man. It's an easy number to I forgot. Right, I never. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. Well, oh, it's, it's after the resurrection. Retard. I'm gonna get it. It's actually a retard. That's, that's what, amazing about it. Oh, they ain't talking shit about it. It's real. That's Most I know is people more than, more than we know them, man. No more people. 23. We living amongst our people. But it's the most high. He created these motherfuckers. If he created you to be stupid, shit, he, it's period, you know? He made you to be stupid. What's up, man? So, what you preaching? The Bible. The truth? The Bible? Yeah, we're teaching prophecies. You know what prophecy is? A prophet? Yeah, that's what we are. We're prophets of the Lord. Prophecy but you know what a prophecy is, though? It's a prophecy. A prophecy is something that's going to happen. Yeah. We're telling you before it happens. You know? A prophecy. Right. So and we're prophesying the downfall of the world. The miracle's going to get destroyed. You know? It says that in there? It says, it says in the Bible, right. But it don't say America. It has code names. America has code names. The Bible of the Most High speaks to his people in, in mystery. Mystery, you know, and, and parables. Oh, you know? parables. So it's not meant for everybody to understand. Just, what know, right, so according to our Bible, the, uh, America is first. He in the spirit, spirit bro. He is. <laughs> That's one of the names. <laughs> Another name, right America, now. is if you refer to as uh, Egypt. <laughs> you know, or Sodom and Gomorrah. You know about Africa, Sodom and Gomorrah? Right, 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 right. Uh, New because that's because America took on their gods. They, they worship the same gods the ancient Egypt. Yep. You know, you know, Anubis. Anubis, that's, I'm familiar Anubis, with that, that's that dog that's a god. Dog, that's that's god. a dog, yeah. He got a dog head, he's right. a god. Yeah. Right, right, right. We from Ethiopia? Somalia. Somalia, okay. It's right next to Ethiopia. Right, right, right. <laughs> Did y'all have some? Oh, I got the retard script. Oh, yeah, that's that. I wanted to hear it. Yeah, I just wanted to hear it. Uh, Luke 24, 25. <laughs> then he said unto them, oh fools. And slow of heart. Now, really, your heart is your mind. Because in the scripture, the word for a mind is alive, which means heart or mind. And really, your heart's not in your heart. It's in your head. It's in your mind. And somebody that's slow of mind, because the word retard means always slow. Like, you call somebody a mental retard, it means you're slow in the head or slow in the mind. So, really, the Lord, the Lord himself actually called people retards. He said he mental retard. Calling people mental retards? Yeah, the, the Lord yeah, Himself, the Son of God. He's reading out of the Bible. And what's the Bible? The Bible is the word of the Lord. Uh, he says slow a heart. Right, right. Straight Jesus. Jesus right. was that prophet. Right. Jesus Christ got crucified. Well, our Lord is not, his name ain't Jesus. No, he's a prophet of Jesus. He's God. He's God's prophet. He's a prophet of Jesus. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. You don't know who Jesus 
Christ is? Well, yeah, that's yeah, the we English. Know Jesus Christ is. Right. Yeah. We know who Jesus Christ is. Let me show you something. He's the son of the most high. Jesus the Lord. God. No, he's the son of God. He's the son of God. Yeah, I know that too. Jesus, like Jesus comes from God. Like, he's not the like most Mary, high. Mary's Jesus' mom. Jesus did not have a dad. Yeah, he so did. Who, who could be Jesus' dad? Joseph. Joseph is Jesus' dad? Joseph. It says in the Bible, Joseph is yeah. Jesus' right. dad? Joseph. Right. See, that's what we're talking about before you walk up, how these pastors are deceiving the people. They're not, not giving the people the truth. Yeah. And it's truth of the scriptures, which is in the Bible. Yeah. Joseph and Mary actually had sex. Yeah. Ain't no virgin birth. Yeah. And besides, angels don't fuck. Angels don't have, don't, ain't got no rod. Angels can't That's right. That's right. That's right. So, to. so here you go. That, that virgin birth is all bullshit. Yeah. Here we go. See, Max? That's a Jess Ray book. I got to call you out. All right, man. All right, then. <laughs> I think he was a Muslim. Because he's like, oh, he was that prophet. Because that's what the Muslims say. That, uh, they say he was only a prophet. Oh, oh the Most High got you. Howdy. Most High wanted you to stay here. Jake. You might be Jake. See? That's not my boss. You just want to show me? That's Jesus right there. That's Jesus. That's Jesus. The Lord isn't huh? named Jesus. And neither is he a cracker. He's black. He's a black man. Right. So his complexion now. That's, 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 that's the world's Lord. Who the world worship. Well, this motherfucker was a... He was, he, he was fucking... His, oh, damn. Why you see them signs, man? That's the devil. He is all messed up, isn't it? That's the, cause Jesus was, I couldn't bring the other ones because my wife yeah. had the fucking car keys. He, he I couldn't get white car, man. man. Yeah. He was a black man, man. He didn't have long hair. That's why I'm using this tripod. Yeah. That's you know, why it's in the car. The Bible says it's against the, the Bible tripod. to have long hair. The Bible yeah. says yeah. it's a shame for a man to have long hair. Yeah. So you know that in the, in the yeah. Lord, the Bible actually said yeah. the Lord's yeah. a dark skinned man. He's a black it man. Take, it might take a while. It might come, you just never know. What's that? Oh, no, go ahead, man. Uh, go ahead. I was just telling what, what you got? You already showing the pictures? I was just telling that the Lord is a black man, not a white man. Yeah, I know. He probably had dress too. No, no, not no, dress. No, no, it's against the law. He had a little fro. Yeah, afro. He had a little, fro. Yeah, yeah. Afro. He had a little yeah. You can't have dress. That's against the law. I mean, only a uh, person in the Bible that ever had long hair was what, a Nazarite, like Samson. But there ain't no more Nazarites. He could, could be religious and have dreads. Nah, it's against the scriptures. Yeah, you heard the rest of the fire rides? The yeah, Jamaicans? but they're going off. They're going off. They're off their religion? They're going off. No, they're going off from the truth. You know? Listen, they, they, they worship their religion, which is for the They say how... That's they, another false religion. Because they teach that Heli Selassie is so-called Jesus in the reincarnation. That's who Jesus... That's, but, that's who Heli Selassie is, Jesus reincarnated. No, nah, Heli Selassie is a man that died. He, he was a king. He's not alive now. But, but when you look at him, you look him up, that's Jesus reincarnated, bro. He nah. said, he said That's he was, Jesus today. He no. Even, he even said himself, I'm not, I'm not the Messiah. But the Lord said he ain't gonna come back because the Lord ain't coming back reincarnated. When the Lord returns to the earth, he's coming out of the sky with the chariots, with the angels. Check this out. Because right this, I'm sorry, but the scriptures say that he's on the right until he comes back and destroys this land. He, he right now he's on the right hand side of the Father. He ain't gonna come back reincarnated. Reincarnated. Here you if, go. I'm sorry, but one more point. If he was really Haley Selassie, how come he didn't come in and destroy this world and deliver his people? It wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't his time yet. It, it wasn't his time. His time. To do that. He knew he was supposed to. was just a king that was supposed to do it. Big Haley Selassie was an Elamite. He wasn't yeah. an Israelite. He, he wasn't was an Israelite. Elamite. Yeah. The Lord ain't dealing with Elamite. And he bet Haley Selassie yeah. down there. Haley Selassie was the first black man. White people treated equal as them. Our people are fools. You understand? Yeah. Our people are fools. This is 1 Corinthians 11, 14. Doth not even nature itself teach you that if a man have long hair, it is a shame unto him? So, did you don't have something else? Now, Rastafari is going up. Point after point. Yeah. Is it? Uh, we can get another scripture. I'm going to show you another one. I'm going to show you how the Lord said he's going to return to the earth. Oh, yeah, that's what me. I was thinking about. Says anything in there about me? What you mean? Like, like the Quran got everything written about everybody. Where the Quran come from? God. Muhammad was a prophet. No, Muhammad was a prophet. You believe in the Quran and Rastafari? Right. I'm a Rastafari. You know what you know? Israelites come up with that. Israelites. No, no, no. You know? No, Quran come from Arabia. No, Arabia, no, that's no, Middle no, East. No, no. We're going to war with them right now. Some Israelites. No, we're going to war with them right now. They're Arabian. You can go. Who's, you know who the Arabians are, man? 
you could, you could go to Arabia. Look out, look out. Okay. You could go to Arabia and you could go to where the Prophet is buried. That's the Mecca and the Medina. We go there once a year just to go see him. And he, I'm you gonna, have to go I'm see him once in your lifetime. And he's buried there. He's but, Arabian. But that's not the problem. The promised land is uh, Jerusalem, man. Israel, not Mecca. That's where Jesus is coming back. Jerusalem. He's gonna come out the sky. Ooh, let me let me read it real quick, real quick. Revelation 1 and 7. This is how the Lord said he's returning. He said, Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him. So when the Lord returns, everybody's gonna see him. He's coming out of the sky with them chariots. Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him. They also which pierced him, and all kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him. Even so, amen. So when Haley Selassie came, ain't all kingdoms well because of him. And when the Lord coming back, he's bringing destruction. He bring a fire, bro. Haley Selassie ain't bring no fire. Only fire he brought was weed fire, smoke of weed. That's it. This is Isaiah 47 3. Thy nakedness shall be uncovered. Yea, thy shame shall be seen. I will take vengeance, and I will not meet thee. As a man. See, the Lord said, I will not be these a man. When the Lord come back, he ain't coming back in flesh like that. You don't believe people get reincarnated? Yeah, that's hey, true. It's in the yeah. Bible. Like you, sperm of you, and you make look like a female, that looks like a little bit, come, baby comes down like you, that's you reincarnated. You can name that man to come back as a man. Name? No, my name, I'm gonna come back as me again. Yeah. Okay. We, 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 we gonna come back as Hebrew Israelites again, man. Who's Nick Jr. or something? Second. Yeah, yeah, my sons. Second. And my son's sons. Yeah. And third, their son's sons. Third, fourth. Right. Yeah, that's it. That's in the Bible. Reincarnation is in the Bible. But a man cannot come back as a woman. A woman, if you was a woman, you gonna come back as a woman. If you was a man, you coming back as a man. Right. That's just the way it is. Ain't no coming back as cows. Yeah, no come back cows. <laughs> because everybody got di you know different spirits. The leader of the ant colony. <laughs> you know, the churches lead all, they teach all kind of bullshit. Like I said, man, they go into it. But when the Lord come back, he ain't coming back reincarnated. Because he already told you, right now, he's in the celestial form. Right now, he's a... When the Lord come back, he ain't coming back in a... Uh, he ain't coming back in a mortal body. Let's go. So what are you saying there about surrender prayers? God bear me serenity, except when I can't change. That's that AA prayer. The courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom of no difference. That's that Alcoholics Anonymous prayer. It says that you don't say that in the it's Bible? It's not in the Bible. Oh, okay. I mean, it kind of makes sense, though, the way they say it. You can accept things you can't change. Let me tell you something. You the, Bible said, the Bible says you can drink. Yeah. You can drink? Yeah, yeah you can drink. Let me find it. Just don't get out of control. <laughs> you gotta know your limit. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. exactly. Yeah, I drink all the time. In moderation. Me too. Me too. Yeah. 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 Hey, the Lord drank wine. Yeah. You know? At hey, the Last Supper, what was they sipping on? They was drinking wine. He said that the wine is his blood. You know? Yeah. Oh, that's another thing Muslims teach you not a lot of drink. Yeah, they say that. They, they know that's some bullshit. Any, anything that can change your mind. It says it in the Bible too. Anything that change your mind. They don't say give that. Give you a buzz. Yeah. Like, anything that give you a buzz. You can get buzz. You, know, you can get a buzz. Somebody was telling me they had to buy Oh, that's some that's some bullshit. <laughs> and the Lord drank wine. They called him a wine beverage. We can get that scripture. Again, they, said, they called him a wine though. Again, the pastor's going off. Yeah. Like I said, he said the wine is his blood, bro. Yeah. He he wants you to drink Holy that water. Huh? Holy water. Well, there ain't no holy water in the Bible. That's not in the Bible. Don't you drink holy water at church? This is the water right here. Uh, That's that water. What's it called? We're speaking the teachings. Right. And it's called the rivers of living water. Here you go. That's the real water. Deuteronomy 14 and 26. And thou shalt bestow that money for whatsoever thy soul lusteth after, for oxen or for sheep, or for wine or for strong drink. You go to work, man. You should be able to enjoy the fruits of your labor. You yeah. Know? You know? Or for whatsoever thy soul desires. That don't mean go do some crack cocaine or shoot heroin. <laughs> you know? So that don't mean nothing like that, but meaning the righteous. Go pop some molly. Right. And thou shalt eat there before the Lord thy power, and thou shalt rejoice. Thou and thy household. 
I mean, there's a, another scripture too that says what? Wine maketh merry. Oh, go ahead. Oh, you got it. This so is what of five and fifteen. It says, and wine that maketh. Well, I'm fourteen. Just the point. Uh, he closes the grass to grow for the cattle, and herb for the service of man. The same time I smoke weed. It says that he may bring forth food out of the earth, and wine that maketh glad the heart of, of man. How does the wine make you glad? Get a little buzz, you know what I'm saying? Tips. You know what I'm saying? Get in the spirit. Get a little nice. Okay, we, well, if we drink some wine right now, we get all the scriptures are coming out, you know? You gotta start coming. We gonna get in the spirit. You, man, you gotta drink Holy Spirit. You gotta we drink it right now. to live a distressful life. Yep. You know? What kind of soul is that? You ever talk to a person that don't drink no more, man? They, well, they gone. Yeah. You gotta do something every once in a while at least. They gone, man. I be taking breaks, you know, but I ain't never gonna be that guy. Oh, I ain't never drinking again. I may say it. Yeah, I might say it. And yeah, the next it. day, I fucks up <laughs> like, like never again. Huh? I like all kinds of stuff. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. No four I like, loco. If whatever I, my, I, I, whatever I'm craving, you know, I just like a wide variety of different stuff. You know? I like some Merlot. You know. I like you, but I'm not too big of a liquor drink. I like beer, Budweiser. You don't like liquor for real? Get too violent. You don't like no liquor? <laughs> yeah, well, I'm black you know, out. You gotta check. Yeah, I black out too on that shit. You gotta know. check your mind, man. You know, you gotta check yourself. Man. Yeah. You know, cause that wine, that, that liquor is the. Like you gotta I take said, it slow. Help it relieve your stress, man. You know, and of course, you direct that energy toward learning. You know, and going after this devil, man. Yep. That's how you direct that energy, man. Studying to cut his falsehood, his lies. You know, get drunk, you know? Yeah, cause that, hey, that hard liquor, you gotta take it slow. Cause you like, oh, it ain't doing nothing to me. You just smashing them. Next thing you know, like, you blacked out. I just don't understand that. How people get stuck with stupid. I can be fucked up, fucked up. I don't never have that anger spirit. Nah, yeah. Not the hate. You know what I mean? Not you know, not the one to go out and still start. Being stupid, I, I, you know, I just don't got it. You know. Yeah. 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 Okay. Right. Harder, brother. I'm gonna come. I'm gonna come. Chop up with Charlie. Tell me, come this way. One okay. day. Okay. Yeah, Jake. Yeah, yeah, for sure. He was all. He was all kind of confused though. So yeah, that's what we was talking about. Them shepherds. Hey, them Muslim shepherds. They count too. You know, a lot of them, uh, what do they call it? They don't even call them pastors. What do they call them? Uh, imams or whatever. Imams, yeah. Whatever. Right. right. But, oh, well, Pastor Louis Farrakhan, he called himself a pastor. How come he ain't a damn imam or whatever the fuck they call it? But all them Muslim leaders, a lot of them, them is shakes. A lot of them is shakes, you know? Especially the ones in America. They, they're leading them people astray. The Rastafari's, they definitely leading them people astray. Oh, was it's it hitting you? No, it was hit me. Oh, I was about to say. It was just brewing around, wanting to come out. Yeah. Yeah. Well. But how stupid you get, really, bro. You got people actually call themselves Rastafari. They actually believe that Heli Selassie was the Lord of Reincarnation. Then how come the kingdom ain't here? Didn't you the Lord know. say when he come back, that he gonna come back with his kingdom? That's right. That's just, he literally denied it. I ain't Christ. He said, uh, I don't want to stop y'all from worshiping, pretty much. In so many words. So even though he denied it, he's still in the room for letting the motherfuckers worship. Hey, he's a little weirdo, too. Then, uh, uh, Bob Marley's uh, ugly ass wife, when he came to America, she said when he was waving, he said she seen uh, his like, holes in his hand. <laughs> Oh my God! Baffled, like, bro, this picture. Why you got? Why you got no holes in hands? This picture's for. I remember seeing that. I read that. Man. And then they said Heli Selassie never died. <laughs> you know, I remember that one dude. We read that Revelation one and seven said, "Behold, he come with clouds." They said, "Oh, that's when he landed in the airport. The airport <laughs> when he came to America." Shut the fuck up. He was out here one day, like years ago, I think, we was talking to that dude. <laughs> Down on campus, I think. Oh, that's when he landed at the airport. He said when he landed on the, I think, then he come to America in an airplane or something he in Florida. At, he landed at JFK? Well, get the fuck out of here, bro. Y'all in denial. They just want to smoke weed and listen to reggae.
pastors got them fucked up. Ezekiel 22 and 25. There is a conspiracy of our prophets in the midst of the like a ruined lion ravening the prey, it says. Ravening the prey, teaching that bullshit. You know, teaching it to, uh, man, it, psh, I don't even know what to say, man. These people teaching all manner of madness. Like, you boy was all kind of confused. They had me so, they got him so messed up. He's a Rastafari animal. You see that? <laughs> man, where do you go after that? More proof he was a Jake. Yeah, oh, yes, yeah, more proof. More proof. <laughs> he got, he got, he got him all fucked up, bro. Who's Somalian? Yeah. Somalian Rastafari muzzle. <laughs> man, Lord have mercy on that boy's soul. Ooh, man, that's some shit, man. They have devoured souls. They have taken the treasure and precious things. They have made her many windows, widows in the midst of the world. Her priests have violated my law and have profaned my holy things. They have put no difference between the holy and the profane. Oh shit, they don't do it, do they? They, they say, know. they'll say there's no law, you can eat pork, right, you can be a homosexual, you can do whatever you want. Nothing is profane no more. You can do whatever you want. They have put no difference between the holy and the profane. Neither have they shown difference between the unclean and the clean. They don't do that at all, do they? Like I said, they, they just take the law and throw it out the window. All are welcome. You, all are welcome. <laughs> they serious with it, too. You can be a tranny. You can be a homo. I guess you can be a murderer and a thief. Murderer and thief, yeah. Murderer and thief. Now, I understand forgiveness and everything, but damn. They got no judgment, no nothing. They take that shit to the extreme. What's the watch man? What is it? Uh, purple, purple, red. And hopefully that should get hit with a missile. It's it says, and have hid their eyes from my Sabbath, and I am profane among them. Yeah, there's no Sabbath in the church. I like how many of these uh, so-called Christians or anybody. There's no rest in this country at all, though. When you look at the Sabbath, I know it's my own family members. Hey, you know, everybody claimed to be a so-called Christian, but even on their Sunday, on their Sabbath, which is not the Sabbath, they out cutting the grass, doing all kind of work. So, I mean, like, okay, can we get a day where everybody just fucking chill the fuck out, don't do nothing, you know? And constantly got to be working. Ah, they got. That's what the Lord gave us a day where everybody rests. A day of rest where you don't do nothing. Why would you argue with that and have a problem with that? They complain about being at work. I don't know what But nigga, everybody had a Sabbath. You would be rested enough. You'd be cool. You know what I'm saying? Everybody chill. Everybody just calm the fuck down. Like they they always, get back on the start. And then they always Sabbath. try to get you to work on the Sabbath. Get you to do stuff. I'll oh, cut the grass. You got to do this. Take the trash out. What does the scripture say? They're painting the house. The, pray, the, the sound of the whip and the, the chariots, the part is not or something like that in the scripture. Yeah. Something like that. It's kind of, it's kind of continuing basis. Yeah, you know what scripture was that? 24 hours a day. 20. Even though Columbus do shut down, you come out at night, you still see shit rolling. Though. But everything open yeah. seven, seven days a week. Yeah. Walmart don't never close. Yeah. That, that is. Walmart, 7-Eleven, that's, you know. They even stay open on their most sacred holidays. Call centers. Yeah, call centers, all that shit. Don't oh, nothing shut down. Most of these restaurants stay open on almost every holiday. Even though they're, they're not holiday, you know, Christmas is not in the Bible, but they, they claim that to be holy, you know what I'm saying? They don't even respect their own fucking bullshit. Their own bug. Her princes in the midst thereof are like wolves, ravening the prey, to shed blood and to destroy souls to get dishonest gain. Oh, that sounds like your boy Nate. Damn. That sounds like your boy Nate. Nasty Nate. He can't. You know, Churches always, too, though. You yeah, know. all of them. How, how many times that uh, that collection plate come around? Oh, they like pass you know? it again. Why I'm hearing too much money rattling. <laughs> hey, yeah, it's too much change. We want paper. We want all of them. 
remember, remember that time when T.D. Jakes came to Columbus. He took me to that little that church. I was like, remember I lived on a uh, yeah, yeah, and then it was like a church. I don't know if I know him. It's it like, T.D. Jakes. Yeah, it's, I guess he. Uh, I guess he like owns that church or some shit. Oh, for real? Dude, crazy ass. Looking he owned shit. the church like it's a di like a car dealer shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And yeah. I, I was there with my grandma and shit. <laughs> That's when I was a Christian. So I was like four or five years old, whatever. <laughs> and he was like, uh, can I get five people to get a thousand dollars or some Ooh. shit? Actually, they got a video on YouTube you can watch where T.D. Jakes, he actually says that it's a business. He's like, not, he was like, he was like, this is a business. And he said the business is real good. That's real right, right. He said, he's like, he's doing, he admitted he's doing it to make money. Right, right, right. He admitted it. Right. And then you're like your boy Rob Parsley here in Columbus. He's still around? Yeah, he's always talking about, you got to sow your seed of faith, brothers and sisters. And these people are jackasses. They give them all the all their whole check. Yeah. Oh, they don't got them games, They get what they do. Games, you know what I mean? A business that's under a 501c3. Taxes. But they ain't going to help you out with them. Same family members yeah. they ain't going to help you out when you're in trouble. Yeah. But they're going to give all that money to pass it. It said to get this out of thing. And her prophets have dubbed them with untempered mortar, seeing vanity and divining lies unto them. Untempered mortar. I mean, they're they building a house with some mortar, the bricks ain't even sticking together. They're mm. falling apart. And say, thus said the Lord power, when the Lord <laughs> hath not spoken. That is a weird old freak of shit. What's the same one? Yeah, fucking man bun. They got people out here with actual man buns. Bro, what is going on out here? So cute. I love that, man. When they, they, what they got them fucking, them Facebook Messenger and the internet Snapchats, the filters, and they be putting little kitty cat noses and ears oh, on their head. so stupid. These some big ass kids. Like, what is, that's yeah. like a little kid would do. Yeah. 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 And they all do it, man. They all do it. It's all gay ass shit, man. How do they do that? I don't, it's, it's on the Snapchat and Facebook Messenger. Snapchat. And all that. I don't. I don't have that bullshit installed. Make themselves look like kitty cats. Oh, that's so cute. And the dudes do it too. Yeah. Sticking their tongue out, gay as fuck. And though all the women, they take their selfies. They gotta have filters and make themselves look halfway decent. <laughs> Face looking all smooth. They gotta look beautiful. That's all they doing all day, posting selfies on Facebook all day. The same you're, picture. You're wasting your life away. The same angle. The same angle, always. Just yeah, obsessed yeah. with them. Just, yeah, from that, because she weighed 300 pounds. That girl, you talk to a girl like that, bro, with all the down, the aerial photos. You already know. <laughs> bro, you just let that one go. You already know. The same pose, too. Like, this shit is beyond me. That same, we should make the same face. Like, what is wrong with you? It's she just she got something di different on, yeah. or a different hairstyle, but it's the same picture. She's in all that storage on the phone. She be, be you know what I'm saying? Brother, he, he has the chat. Oh, he got all, all the uh, scriptures and, you know what I'm saying? Bibles. But he got all these videos, videos and shit, pictures of themselves. <laughs> we got, he's been learning. They over there assist with themselves, though. Mm. He assists with knowledge. Right. They assist with themselves. Like, all my apps is all knowledge. I got, like, three different Bibles on my phone. I got the uh, little astrology app. Looking at the stars. Yeah. Uh, yeah. App thing, whatever that's called. Right, right. They probably, you know, they out here with Snapchat and all this other bull, all, all different bit, uh, camera filters. Instagram. <laughs> Instagram, I don't use that shit. <laughs> I ain't never. I don't understand what it's for. Why, why are you? <laughs> That's like, I don't use Twitter, bro. I, oh, I try to use it. I attempt to use YouTube to fucking delete my ass. I appreciate it. This is uh, Micah 3 and 9. It says, Hear this, I pray you, ye heads of the house of Jacob and, and princes of the house of Israel, and you know, it's like that abhor judgment and pervert all equity. Oh, they abhor judgment. Why do they abhor judgment? Because they don't want to They don't want to lose that money. Just, nobody wants to be corrected, man. Everybody hates to be proven wrong. And be proving what you've been doing is wrong. Everything you do is a lie. They don't want to hear that. They got too much ego. People got too much ego and too much pride. You know? They don't know how to get to stuff that pride down. 
this is older motherfuckers. Yeah. Older men and women, man. They, you show them, you show you, you want to help them to correct themselves, but they too, like you said, too proud to correct themselves. It's that ego. They all consumed it with themselves. Yeah. Yeah. That's you gotta be selfless. You gotta kill that ego, you know? <laughs> So they build up Zion with blood and Jerusalem with iniquity. The heads thereof judge for reward. And that's talking about wicked ass Israel too. Everybody judges for reward. Like everybody just wants to look good in the sight of men. They just want to look good in the sight of men. They'd rather fear men than fear the Most High. The priest thereof judge for hire. Divine for money, yet was they lean upon Yahweh and said, "Is not Yahweh among us? None evil shall come upon us." Yeah, they always say, "Oh, we tell everybody, look, America's about to be destroyed." Everybody, oh, that's not true. My pastor didn't tell me that. Oh, man, God gonna bless America. The God, the Lord, has blessed America. You hear, actually hear Jake preachers say that. They say this is the land of milk and honey. Okay, yeah, I'll see you. Even with it, like, you're an Israelite? Really? You're an Israelite? Are you one? No, sir. I'm an Israelite. I'm not going to lie with you. No, you ain't no I'm just asking. I'm not going to lie with you. I'm African. African. You're an African. I'm going to tell you what my first name is. Then I'm going to tell you something else. My first name is I-R-A. And the main thing I'm going to tell you, you don't know what you're talking about. Okay, okay. Hey, the scriptures say defend the gospel. Okay. Hey, with the IRA, the, what's that, the Irish uh, Republic, was it? The terrorist organization? That's IRA. That's the old IRA right there. The most high calls these older motherfuckers called fools, Amazing. How you gonna come up and start shit though? Right. Oh, y'all call y'all tell Hebrew. I ain't trying to argue. And you ain't trying to argue, but you started to argue. Right. <laughs> Where they do that at? That's some funny shit. And we are trying to argue. That's what it's all about. Hey, I got a scripture right quick. Uh, Isaiah 30 and 9. That this is a rebellious people. It's talking about Israel. It's talking about y'all. This is a rebellious people, lying children. Children that will not hear the law of the Lord would say to the seers, see not, and to the prophets, prophesy not unto his right things, speak unto his smooth things, prophesy deceit. That's what they want to hear. They want to hear lies, bro. Like we tell everybody America's going to be destroyed. They're not trying to hear that. We tell y'all what the law in the Bible said. They despise the law. The Bible said you can't commit adultery. They ain't trying to hear that. The Bible says it's against the law to be a homosexual. Y'all ain't trying to hear that. The Bible says you're not, you, you're not supposed to eat pork. They definitely ain't trying to hear that. The guys that had that, uh, that bacon, the sausage, biscuits, and gravy, you know what I'm saying, that honey-baked hams, the ham sandwiches, the little lunch meats, pepperoni pizza. You know that, Jake? They be eating pepperoni pizza every day, going to Little Caesars, getting your hot and ready's. You know what I'm saying, $5.00. That's against the scriptures. Extra pepper. Oh yeah, get some extra. Oh, they got the meat lover pizzas. Oh, you know, the they sausage. put all the all the sauce, sausages, ham, pepperoni. That's all kind of abominations. <laughs> then they get mad at the Lord when, when you catch diabetes or AIDS, whatever, any type of disease, and you drop dead. Your family member drop dead, and you get mad at the Lord. If you obey the Lord, you yep. live. Yep. Yeah, at the funerals, the after party at the funeral, at, the, at their family home. They, they serving dinner to everyone. They see this. They feed the same shit. They kill. <laughs> they kill grandma and grandpa. <laughs> man, yeah, cause that man. You see, my dad jacked up right now. Was his health? Mm. All that meeting, all not meeting, but mostly got pork. You know what I mean? You know them abominable foods. I, Cause you know my dad be at home. He was just telling me he all jacked up in the hospital. He told me he eating spam, frying bologna. He be frying bologna. You know it's in bologna? Mm. And he ain't getting the turkey bologna. Okay. They, they told me about uh, my grandma and grandpa lived to be 70, 80, 90, 100 years old. But the, all them years, they was living in pain. Yeah. Suffering could, on meds. Could have lived to be 120. You know? Shit. Passed 100. 
taking high blood pressure pills every fucking month, taking diabetes pills every month, taking a shot. You want to take a shot every day, man. That's why I was trying to tell my dad, too, like that blood pressure. Yo, you know about, I know something good for your uh, high blood pressure. Right. They got some, you ever you know, hear about the black ear fungus? Damn. You can get it, uh, or it's popular in Oriental dishes. Right, right. You go to the that, uh, the little Thailand store, got it. You got, it's, it's called black fungus or black ear fungus. Right, right. You throw it in your soup. Right. It, it improves your circulation. You know, Jay ain't trying to hear that. Yeah. They trying to, you ever look at the, you ever look at the, the skillet after they fry some bacon? Let the damn grease be this thick. Hey, look at it after, Just all the white, day after. That <laughs> white, thick ass grease. That's going straight to your heart. The day after. Right, right. That shit goes And you can't heart. even clean it out of bed. That. That's nasty. Woo. Going straight to your heart. But they don't want to hear the law of the Lord, so, you know, fuck them. Hopefully, everybody, more people start dropping dead. They would. You know, man, you see, you go to Little Caesars, bro. Jake is lined up for the little hot readies. They don't never get a cheese pizza. They get no, all pepperoni. Give me a pep. I'm yep. going to give five peps. Yep. is abominable man you just shake your head like jacob never get it man he never he never going oh that's why the lord said what he speaks of the elect there's going to be a small many are called but few are chosen man. most of these people is going the lord going to destroy them. they goners bro they done there's no helping them you can't help these people what you got this is Second Ezra's nine and eleven says, and they that have lost my Lord, while they had yet liberty, and when it's when it is yet place for of repentance was open unto them, understood not, but despised it. They didn't despise the law. Right. They hate it. You tell them like, oh, you tell them you can't celebrate Christmas. Oh, that's bullshit. How you gonna do that to your children? That's what they always say. Yeah. But how you gonna make your child worship the devil? <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Let's go with you. Be aware. You're supposed to preach that. What's that? Are you aware that you're supposed to preach that out of love? But this is love. Well, are you aware that you're supposed to preach it out of love? Well, you're supposed to give you a hug? No, no, no. You got to hear the cold ass weather. Yeah, we in the cold weather, bro. This is love. Well, that's what I'm saying, though. Are you aware that people receive messages just off of, you know, society? And hey, what's that script with this is love that we keep this command with love? He yeah, said, if you love me, keep on. Hey, no, no, he said that, right? But he said, and this is love. Uh, but no, I'm saying like, that's the first time. Hey, okay. If you're really trying to win. But what is love, though? What's the definition of love? The real love. There's something you do in spite, not, not because. Because really, really love, these people's meaning of love, that's just a four letter word, just like shit. You know what I mean? That's their meaning. I'm Have you about ever read the Bible? No. Yeah. You read the Bible, so. I see a 58. No. I'm not. I'm And what did the scripture say, though? Listen, it said. Listen, okay, listen, love, though. love, 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 and. Is, uh, I'm sorry. Love and. Uh, love not in word, but in deed. You know what I'm saying? So everybody can, I love you, brother, and speak with that soft tongue, that so that's how the devil speaks is with that soft exactly. that soft smooth voice, well, that old what soft I'm spirit. Is this because we're not talking about all that other stuff. We're talking about what you guys are on a mission, right? Your mission yeah, we're out here in the cold is to do what? We had teaching the gospel. We're teaching the gospel. It's to win souls. No, 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 no. You're not trying to win souls? No. Just the elect. We only out here for a little a fraction amount of number of people, man. You're not trying to win people over to the Lord? No. Well, because most people ain't going to the Lord. The Lord's chosen is already sealed. So you're here to do what? Prophesy. We're here to prophesy and we're to teach the gospel. Prophesy. Like, to win the souls is already won. Here you go. The Lord, are, the Lord's chosen, but was chosen before the earth was even created. Thank you, Listen, Isaiah <laughs> fifty-eight and one. Cry aloud, spare not. See, spare not. It's lift up thy voice like a trumpet oh. and show my people there's transgressions. And there's really no. Hey, you got to show them the transgressions. Like we was just talking about the pork thing. Hey, that's a transgression. And we gotta make it clear that you're not supposed to do that. Listen, 
and the house of Jacob their sins. Yep, the house of Jacob their sins. So that's love. Yeah, that's love. To turn a person from wickedness to righteousness. Yep. That's the question. How do I get saved? By calling on the name of the Lord. How do I get saved? I just told you. How do Ro I Rome was a, get saved? I'll get to the scripture. I just I just faith? told you it was clear. What it's very simple. Say get saved? It's very simple. Just Look. Romans 10, listen, Romans 10 and 13. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. That's how you get saved. What is the process? I, that's it. Okay. That's the process. All right, let me. You call, whoever calls upon the name of the Lord is going to be saved. That's it. Can I say this? There's a lot of different points in the Bible that talks about salvation. And that's just one of the many points. But ultimately, a person has to be born again to the kingdom. Obviously. Born right. again. Born again. Right, be born again. What's it mean to be born again, though? It means to be born of the water and the spirit. What's that? You got to be more again. specific than that, man. You got to be born of a spirit. You no, be born no. Of the Let me help you out. You got to learn. You got to go from not knowing nothing and stop following after lies and falsehood to truth. Yep. Right. That's more specific. Right. Because you got to okay. kill that so old tell man. Us. Right. That's what I'm saying. So if your intent is to win souls and be, make people born again, we can't do nothing. All we can do is teach the gospel. No, we can, can't make nobody do that. Nothing. That's a process we got that no God power. does. We have no power. You see, like how the, bat, the, uh, he said, the Baptist, John the Baptist said, I baptize with water, but one greater come behind me and baptize you with what? With well, fire. The spirit of fire. Exactly. So to be born again, they have to be of the spirit. So, and that's something we have to lead people to. Okay. We're in the spirit. That's okay. So, so your point yeah. is to speak nicely, not to rub. My point rough. is you'll get more results. See, we incur. No, 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 no. <laughs> you know, How you that's doing? That's not the spirit of the Lord, man. Who's that? No, 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 that's you're not, not the spirit of the Lord. Not hear what I'm saying. I'm talking Show about me the scripture where the Lord came up and said, "How y'all doing?" <laughs> for today, it's not. Hey, listen, y'all can do what y'all doing, and I applaud you for it. Honestly, I'm a Who's believer that? in the Lord Obviously, myself. Obviously, you don't applaud. What, what, what Lord do you believe in? The What's Lord Jesus Christ, the only Lord there is. The Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Jesus I'm not Christ. talking about Jesus Christ. I'm talking about Jesus Christ. Okay. I'm talking you know, about Yeshua. I'm talking about. His name is not Yeshua. Then listen, I'm talking about the one it that is seated on it the matters. throne of heaven. Because what he said, it? Jesus. It's not Jesus nor oh, Yeshua. No, Ruth is speech. Yeah. See, we know all hey, things. It was great talking with y'all. Right, I'm all in the crowd. Yep, we'll, yep, we'll yep. Y'all yep, be safe. Yep. Say, so you gotta come with that old Yeshua like you do so. Crazy shit, man. Oh, that's sick. Sick. They always do that, bro. They run off on you. They always run off on you. Gotta go. Gotta go. Nice nigga. Get too far. You get getting that hot. That, put your hand on the oven and got burnt, boy. We in here cooking up that meal. We in there cooking that meal, boy. He put his hand on the oven. He a nice nigga, man. Just nice. Like, he said we supposed to say, oh, how, how you doing? <laughs> but actually, even though we do do that, that, though, yeah, yeah. You know, we ain't like straight assholes out here. We said, what's up? we said, what's up to him, didn't we? Yep, I said, yep. what's good with you? Yep. See, they don't even pay attention, man. He came up, I was like, what's good with you, bro? You know, that pork thing got it. We, that's what we talking about pork. He's like, oh, man, y'all got me fucked up. He's like, I ain't giving up my hot break. Love. 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 I love you, brother. We're gonna show love by torching these motherfuckers when the time comes. We're gonna tell everybody we love them now. Love. We love y'all. Love. <laughs> love, love, love. Actually, I hate these people. I don't love them. It's like you were saying to me, man. It ain't number the word, man. Hey, like shit and fuck. Yeah. You know? That's it, man. Love. Hey, love. The, what's that script? Uh, love not word but deed or something. It's funny. When, when did we ever see? One scripture where Yahweh shot really said, I love all you. Oh, here you go. Here you go. Here you go. We, 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 uh, the evangelists on the street, they be like, hey, Jesus love me, Jesus love me. What scripture when Yahweh shot really said that? When he was teaching? There you go. I can't think of not one. No. But, but he said, if, if you love me, keep my commandments. Yeah. I got a preset. This is, this is an example of a man of the Lord being uh, so called rude to, uh, to, uh, to, to people. It's uh, Matthew 3 and uh, 6. It says in word five, it says, then went out to him, uh, it's like a, then went out to him, Jerusalem, and all Judea and all the region of brought about Jordan, and were baptized with him in Jordan, uh, confessing their sins. But when he saw many, this is John the Baptist, it says, but when he saw many of the Pharisees and Sadducees came to his baptism, 
He said unto them, O generation of vipers, Ooh. who have warned you to flee from the wrath to come. Hey, he, he called it vipers. Yeah, he said, oh, how you doing, bro? He said the whole generation were vipers. That's yeah. a lot of motherfuckers, ain't Damn, it? he said the whole generation. He said all y'all snakes. That's the majority. Yeah. That's what he's speaking about the majority. Oh. Yeah, he didn't say, hi, how you doing? Woo. He didn't say, brother, what's up, brother, sister? Why are you sister married, brother? <laughs> brother John? Yeah. It says, bring forth therefore fruits, be for repentance. A bring forth fruit, that's what we say. Y'all had them fruits. And then we told him, how you, he said, how you can say? We told him, and he kept saying, no, no, no. And he rejected. He rejected. It's like, that's your boy's plan. <laughs> hey, I got this one too. <laughs> hey, here's how Paul talked. This is uh, 2 Corinthians uh, 10 and uh, 10. For his, this is talking about Paul. What is Paul talking about himself? But actually, let me start at 10 and 9. Actually, let me start at 8. Uh, from 2 Corinthians 10 and 8. For though I should boast somewhat more of our authority, but the Lord gave us authority, right? Which the Lord had given us for edification and not for your destruction. I should not be ashamed, right? Because we try not to see people destroyed. That's right. Right? Even though we want to see someone destroyed. That I might, I may not seem as if I would terrify you by letters. Right? This is a letter, Corinthians. For his letters, they say, are weighty and powerful, but his bodily presence is weak and his speech is contemptible. So Paul said his speech was his speech was contemptible. When you that word contemptible means despicable. I mean, he he spoke rough. I'm gonna go ahead and skip to that 11 and 6. 2 Corinthians 11 and 6. Paul said, "But though I be rude in speech, yet not in knowledge. But we have been thoroughly made manifest among you in all things." So Paul said that he's rude in speech. He also said his speech was contemptible. Now, when people say our speech is contemptible. I remember, uh, remember when I was in school, my teacher would say, like, when you cussing, that shows, that shows, that shows how ignorant you are. But there was a song, I can't remember who the fuck wrote it, or sung it, whatever. She was like, the girl was like, uh, when I cuss, it don't show my, it don't show my ignorance, it shows my pain, it shows my uh, anger, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's just, you know what I'm saying? If you angry, if you, if you stub your toe, you ain't gonna be like, oh, darn, you gonna say, oh, fuck, shit, oh, that shit hurt. God you know damn it. And, and right now, the Lord said that the Lord is angry at the wicked every day. Mm. So if he's angry, we're angry too. So we ain't gonna come out here all soft and like, Hell no. We're gonna be pissed off. I ain't gonna lie, this is the sight of a wicked motherfucker. I'm just like, you mother piece of shit. You know? What else are you supposed to think? Oh, that's my brother. I love you, brother. Oh man, that's fucking cursing motherfuckers. I just read about John the Baptist. He, as soon as he seen the scripture, he didn't say, oh, nah. Yeah, as soon as he seen him, yeah. As soon as he seen him, He didn't even give him a chance to talk. He just cussed his ass out. You know what I'm saying? Because you could just look at somebody who's wicked and just know they evil. Yeah. You just by the, uh, what's that, that scripture said by the countenance of their face bears witness against them? What is that, Isaiah 3? Just by looking at them, you know that they wicked. Said that too. This is uh, Luke 13. This is another example. This is like the John the Baptist did. This is uh, Luke 13. And uh, I'm going to start at, uh, I'm going to go to, no, I'm going to go three. Okay, it says, I tell you, this is how Shah speaking, I tell you, nay, but except ye repent, ye shall all likewise perish. And that's what we told him, wasn't it? <laughs> that's why your boy got mad because we said that. What scripture was that? Luke 13 and 3. Your boy got mad because we was telling him, if you don't repent, you're going to be destroyed. Uh, let's say that in layman's terms. If you don't turn away from the sins, the Lord's going to destroy you. Yeah. That's how you say it in 2018. That's or the Lord, Lord going to fuck you up. You yeah. can say that too. That's acceptable. That's contemptible but speech. Oh, like uh, Paul said his speech was contemptible. Like when you make an outburst of court, you're going bonkers on them. You're going nuts. They're going to hold you in contempt. They say you're in contempt because you're acting crazy. Yeah, contempt of court. They can get in trouble for that. Make an outburst. We out here speaking contemptible. Contempt of court. look that word. But it's a different Greek word anyway. Though. I looked it up in Greek once. I can't remember what it said. Uh, 
uh, Psalms 120 and 7 uh, says, I am for peace, but when I speak, they are for war. I right, say that again. Psalms 120 and 7. I am for peace, but when I speak, they are for war. Right, so we actually the ones talking about peace. We cursing people out. We out here cursing the devil out. You no, know, the military cursing them out. But they, they bring war against us for speaking about peace. These people are assholes. You know, we out here speaking the right way, they get mad at us. They actually, they assholes. They demons. Goddamn demons, bro. Fucking hobgoblins, demons, orcs. Man, who did, what's the name? The Kassonians? The Pathians? What's the other word? Oh, go ahead. Um, open disregard or disobedience. Open disregard or disobedience. But we not, we be disobedient against the evil people. We're not going to be obedient to their bullshit, you know? Talking, talking about, oh, we got to love everybody, be nice to everybody. Fuck all that. We, we're going to be rebellious towards their wickedness. Is there more to it? Well, this is a church that they're fucking hypocrites. Open disregard or disobedient of authority or the law. Yeah. So they're hypocrites. Yep. General sense of act of despising, scorn for what is mean. <laughs> Vile or worthless? Worthless. So Paul said his speech was contemptible. So he's been, you know, he's speaking raw and rough with it. Scorn, despise. Despise, because he despise you fools. The people, do, that man, they don't know nothing, man. They don't know nothing. They, like the Lord called them slow in mind, a slow of heart. What was that, that Luke 24 and 25? We already read it. He said, y'all, slow up. That means you mentally retarded. You're slow in the head. And Jake is slow in the head. He's not capable of critical thinking. He's not He's not able to put two and two together. He, he's like, I, I, I don't know. Uh, 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 it's, it's too much for him. The Greek meaning temno, temno in Greek. Attic temno this means to cut. To cut? Oh, we be cutting these fools, don't we? He to got cut to or cut to, or to like, beat. Oh, to cut or to beat. To, to beat? That's right. They beat into pieces. Hey, what's the scripture say? Beat to pieces. Ain't that a scripture? Beat to pieces. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hammer. That's Jeremiah, what, 23 or something? 24. Somewhere around there. I think 24, 25. Come here and tell us how to do this shit, man. That's some funny yeah, shit. Yeah, you gonna tell us. We the ones out here teaching. Love. You, gotta, you, gotta, you gotta keep bringing that up. We actually the ones out here teaching. How you gonna tell us how to teach? Why don't you get your ass out here and teach? Compare. What do you say? Something about bring the people in, compare the people. Yeah. He said we out here to win souls. That's that old Baptist. That's how Stephen Anderson talks. You ever watch Pastor Stephen Anderson? Oh, that's a beautiful phrase. You said that. You looked at one word in uh, Luke where it says, the Lord said, a parable. He said, go out there and compel them to come in. Yeah. You look that word compel means to threaten. Mm. To threaten? Damn. That's what we do. We just say, come in. How you got to threaten them? Jake only listen to threats. How you gonna know the fear of the Lord if he's talking on nice? You know that, that ain't no fear in that. Yeah. That's like you gotta know the consequences of going off. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's what we do. We tell you teach you some really, that's one scripture I forgot. I think it's in Proverbs where he said, Come come to me and something like that. I teach you the fear of the Lord. Ooh. You know what I'm that wasn't even we wasn't we wasn't even really going that hard and he got mad. No, no not at all. And we've been way we go harder than that. Sometimes it's the message period, man. Yeah, the messages don't it's sound good to him at all, does it? Oh, man. Idiots. Because this message, yeah, it just come out rough, man. It just come, it come straight. Oh, that's why the Lord said you, you got to walk the straight gate. That's that Pastor Stephen Anderson talk. He's like, I was going out winning souls. He said, I, I won seven souls today. <laughs> like, well, you didn't do a goddamn thing, you know? Oh, let me get that scripture. Actually, come out. You won some souls. Some souls. <laughs> we, ain't win, we ain't winning nothing. We out here teaching. Like we can win. Like you know. Like 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 their salvation all depended upon us. When the scriptures say that elect was already sealed from the beginning, that don't even make sense. The ones that were saved is already saved. That's right. That's what Isaiah said. Don't think that you 
teaching the word is doing what the guy goes. What's good? Oh, we lighting it up right here. <laughs> I didn't understand it. <laughs> he was not trying to hear the word. <laughs> no, no, no. Let me read this real quick. This is what the Lord said, John 15, uh, 5. He said, I am the vine, ye are the branches. He that abideth in me, and I in him. The same bringeth forth much fruit. Without me, you can do nothing. But we can't do nothing by ourselves. You know, you boy talking about talking about winning souls like we could do something we just teaching all we doing is educating right when to educate means what to draw something out that was already in there yeah yeah and that's a that's another mystery though that's a heavy mystery actually but you know the brothers is the accept they don't accept the truth that's another thing <laughs> there's no accepting the truth you have not chosen me i have chosen you so if a person comes up here and believes it is truth, that means the Lord had already chosen them. Real. That's what a hey, that's what a deep mystery actually is. These fools ain't never gonna understand that one. Look at these fucking weirdos. Get your boy's hair. <laughs> Eat them up. If I hold that coda buzz accidentally accelerates and squishes them. Squish you get here to squish. Oh, that would be dope too. Here to squish. Actually, just see it. That yeah. Would be dope. I would. I would laugh. That'd actually. Be dope as fuck. Oh, there's a video of this. that was a world star. Dude just fell out the sky, man. <laughs> he just showed it all. Oh, and shit. when he hit blood, just damn. Damn, it was dope. As fuck. It was dope. Hey, that's what you don't fuck with the most high. Your ass might fall out the sky. He just fell out the sky, man. With a hand, his handbag, his purse, and everything. Splat. Oh. Was that the one? Was it at a mall? Yeah, let me I think I might have seen it. Because I seen this one where this dude fucking. He was doing some shit. He was at a mall and he jumped over this man. Right, this is outside. Oh. He, he came out the sky. Damn. I don't know if I've seen that one. Let me show you. That'd it's be on, beautiful. They don't delete off a of worst talk. Yeah. <laughs> They, they go hard. They go hard for YouTube. Jake waiting to get on World Star. Hey, it's getting harder and harder to make it on top on World Star. The more extreme shit every day, people get less impressed. And hey, the Lord got some extreme shit for the y'all. Oh, I got to take my battery. <laughs> 